Houston DIY. My name is Matilda. My name is Oliver, and today we'll be doing a Houston DIY outdoor project. Okay, so as the kids have said, this is an outdoor project by using DIY. So we're going to be painting the garage wall. Uh, you can see here it's uh, looking a little aged. You can see the mark where the greenhouse used to be, which we've ripped down, cleaned up the wall. Uh, so the plan is to paint this wall. Some lights will go up eventually. You can see on the right hand side as well, they'll be uh, getting rid of that shed there too. Okay, first of all, we're using the Santex uh, masonry paint, a chalk hill colour. Um, so that's the paint we're going with. Starting with a brush, starting from left to right. Obviously, a real pain with this uh, with this pebble ash. Uh, so I made the decision to use my spray gun that I've got with my compressor. Um, so in the next bit, we'll show you that how much better it is with that spray gun. I'm gonna use a spray gun this time and see what it does. Okay, film it, Tilda. Yeah. Yeah. Ready. Okay, first coat on, put a second coat on now, straight with the spray gun, which is miles easier, so much quicker. Just kind of got at different angles just to get the different areas of pebble dash, It'd be easier if it were just flat. Uh, see there, just see how it covers those, those uh, bare spots really well. Uh, so this is with uh, two coats on now. I'm going to stick with my two coats, I think. Uh, it's got quite good coverage, and it's on the garage wall. Uh, and this bit, we're just putting some uh, gravel board at the bottom, just to put, just to make it look nicer and protect that bottom bit. Uh, just tried using some plugs, which didn't work straight away, so I just went with some norm normal normal uh, masonry wall plugs, uh, some 50 mil screws. So that's the first length in there. Then we got second length in just to match up. We've covered by pots anyway really so it doesn't really matter. So I just put the pots back I need to look of the wall with the pots in place. Okay all done and dusted, uh, wall painted. I was obviously start with the paintbrush, moved on to the spray gun which were miles easier, tons easier, so much quicker. I think the paintbrush would have took me a couple of days to do it with a couple of coats. Uh, the spray gun was kind of a matter of minutes um, for each separate panel. Um, got that with the compressor, it came as a kit, so it just made sense to use it, no extra cost really. Um, so I think going forward on doing a painting at the house, I'm going to use a spray gun, but probably getting a, a better one. Because even though it was good, I think getting a dedicated spray gun that's not part of a set will probably reap the benefits. Um, but overall really good. First step anyway done. That wall's going to get three lights on it as well, which we'll do another video on. And that's down the right hand side of it, the shed area, they're going to rip that down because that's leaking and tidy up that, which again we'll do another video on. The plan is to tidy that up, rip all the shed out and then clad at the top just to neaten everything off, just for a, a nicer storage area. Um, so we'll just do some before and afters now, some, some quick pictures. Um, but if you like the video, give it a like. If you don't, dislike. If you don't, give it a dislike. And if you want to follow along, please subscribe.